Samsung just did something unusual. A One UI update quietly rolled out, but with one tiny change that hints at something massive, no beta tag. That alone flipped the Galaxy community into detective mode. Is the stable version already here? And why did the Galaxy Watch suddenly skip One UI 7 entirely? Something's clearly shifting behind the scenes, and it might be bigger than we think. Welcome back, viewers. James here. While you're here, hit like, share this with your fellow tech nerds, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what's next. Trust me, we're just getting warmed up. Let's start with the Galaxy Watch. Samsung didn't just update it, they skipped a whole number. One UI 7, nowhere to be seen, they went straight to One UI 8. That's not a typo. This could mean Samsung is trying to sync up software across devices more aggressively, or maybe they're just trying to fast track something for the next gen wearables. Either way, it's weird and very interesting. The new betas live in the US for the Galaxy Watch 7 Bluetooth version and the T-Mobile model of the Watch Ultra. If you're eligible, just open the Samsung Members app, go to the new beta program section, and the app will scan your connected devices. I did it myself and was in within 15 minutes. My Watch Ultra wasn't eligible since it's not T-Mobile locked, but the Watch 7 worked fine. Once you're in, things get exciting. One UI 8 for the watch isn't just a cosmetic upgrade. It introduces a smarter sleep system that helps you wend down and wake up more naturally, plus a new vascular load tracker and antioxidant index. There's even an enhanced outdoor running coach that alerts you when you're overexerting. Basically, your watch is becoming your personal trainer, sleep assistant, all at once. Now let's switch gears to the Galaxy S25 series. One UI 8 Beta 3 just landed, but here's the kicker. It might not be a beta at all. Typically, Samsung uses a Z in the build number for beta firmware. This one starts with B, specifically BYFB. That almost certainly means we're looking at either the stable version or a very final release candidate. And the timing, suspiciously close to Samsung's upcoming unpacked event where the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Flip 7 are expected. This could mean Samsung is planning to roll out one UI 8 to the S25 and then use that momentum to showcase their foldables, clean synchronized and very Apple-like in execution. Inside this so-called Beta 3, Samsung fixed a bunch of small but noticeable issues. The status bar overlap bug is gone, the keyboard and secure folder works again, modes and routines no longer crawl when loading, and even the swipe to type glitch and S Pen input lag have been squashed. It's the kind of update that doesn't brag, but quietly makes your phone feel brand new again. Something else changed too, my Google Play system update silently jumped from April 1st to May 1st after a routine reboot. If you haven't checked yours, go to Settings, Saw Software Information, and tap Google Play System Update a couple of times. You might get a surprise version bump. After installing the update, a quick dive into my apps showed even more under the radar changes. One UI Home is now on a newer version, Samsung Camera jumped several builds, and Gallery and Secure Folder both got refreshed. Even Always on Display and Lock Screen Modules received tweaks. Nothing flashy, just quiet polish everywhere you look. One small detail really stood out, the lock screen clock now adjusts its position and shape based on your wallpaper. It sounds minor, but it feels dynamic in practice, like the interface is reading the mood of your background, and live captions during phone calls. They finally work properly. Whether you're in a loud cafe or just prefer reading over listening, this feature is a subtle game changer. Sure, One UIA isn't a revolutionary upgrade, but it feels like a quiet power move. Samsung isn't throwing a party for it, they're just rolling it out like, here's a smoother, smarter Galaxy. No drama. And honestly, that might be the best part. If the final build is already on Samsung servers, stable One UI 8 could drop any moment, maybe even before the Z Fold 7 goes public. So if you're using a Galaxy S25 or a Watch 7, buckle up. One UI 8 is creeping in quietly, but it's packing a punch where it matters. Keep an eye on your updates, and if something new pops up, you'll know exactly what to look for.